You've probably heard that computers use zeros and ones to represent information. But how can that be? Well, it turns out that even with just zeros and ones, you can represent anything, including other numbers, letters, graphics, sounds, movies, and more. Computers use the so-called binary system, bi meaning two, otherwise known as base two, whereby they only have two digits in their alphabet, zero and one. Binary digits, if you will, or bits. We humans, by contrast, generally use the decimal system, dec meaning 10, otherwise known as base 10, whereby we have 10 digits in our alphabet, 0 through 9. Other base systems, so to speak, also exist, among them hexadecimal, or base 16, and infinitely many more. But how, using just zeros and ones, can you represent other numbers? Well, let's first consider the decimal system we already know. Why does 1, 2, 3 represent 123? Well, think of each of these digits as being in columns, where 3 is in the 1's place, 2 is in the 10's place, and 1 is in the 100's place. If we multiply those columns, we get 100 times 1, plus 10 times 2, plus 1 times 3, which of course is 100, plus 20, plus 3, or 123. But why have a 1's place, a 10's place, and a 100's place? Well, those are actually powers of 10. 10 to the power of 0 is 1, 10 to the power of 1 is 10, and 10 to the power of 2 is 100. And we could keep going higher if we needed more places. Now it turns out that computers aren't all that different from us. They just happen to use powers of 2 instead of powers of 10. In other words, the binary system has a 1's place, a 2's place, a 4's place, and more. Why? Well, 2 to the power of 0 is 1, 2 to the power of 1 is 2, and 2 to the power of 2 is 4. Let's try counting in binary. How would a computer represent the number we know as 0 using 3 bits, that is, zeros and 1s? Well, with 3 zeros, because 4 times 0 is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, 1 times 0 is 0, and 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. Indeed, we don't even need all three of those bits since, as in decimal, there's no need for leading zeros. How would a computer represent the number we know as 1? Well, as 0, 0, 1, or even just as 1. How about 2? Well, as 0, 1, 0, because we need a 1 in that 2's place. 3 would be 0, 1, 1. 4 would be 1, 0, 0. 5 would be 1, 0, 1. 6 would be 1, 1, 0. And 7 would be 1, 1, 1. But what about 8, not to mention every other possible number? Well, for those, we just need one or more additional bits, for an eighths place and beyond. Now, how does a computer actually represent all of these zeros and ones? Well, generally with electricity, or the absence thereof. Indeed, you can think of a bit as a light bulb. A light bulb that's off is a zero, and a light bulb that's on is a one. With one light bulb, could you thus count from zero to one? With two light bulbs, could you count from 0 to 3? With three light bulbs, could you count from 0 to 7? And so on. Now, computers don't actually use light bulbs, but transistors and other hardware instead. But they essentially represent information just like we do, albeit using 0 and 1, instead of 0 through 9. Perhaps you're more of a computer person than you once thought. This was Binary, and this is CS50. What? <laughs> no good? <laughs> this was binary! <laughs> and this? Are you on a different ending?